black leather glove, no secret. Buckles on the jacket, it's a leash. What's going on guys? This is Drake Shop Plays coming at you with some more Pokemon content. That's right. Um, we are playing Pokemon Shield. The only thing I have done is I have grinded out a couple of the Pokemon that needed a little bit more strength training. It's something that we don't necessarily need to put on here for you guys to be like watching me grind out some experience, right? Because in DD, like for example, in DD and I grinded out Charizard for the next gym leader battle just because it's more cinematic. So uh, he is our Gigantamax. I just gave him the armor soup and I came right back. Um, so yeah, he's a little stronger now for sure. But we're gonna try not to use him to the very end of the battle. Um, I think I'm gonna start off with me and Fu. I think it's gonna be really perfectly leveled for the actual gym battle itself. So we're gonna get started on it right now. And guys, so um, little backstory. I've been I've been working like crazy on getting this Pokemon content to you guys, but also I've been trying to get in contact with Nintendo PR. So I got through to Pokemon's PR and was able to get confirmation that our channel is gaining traction in a good way, which pretty much means is that Pokemon is willing to send us a media key for early access to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So what I need your guys' help with is just hitting that like and subscribe button, sharing with a friend, um, and uh, help Charmander out over there, okay guys? So what we're gonna do right now <clears throat> is we're just gonna go ahead and stomp through this fire gym battle. We'll, we'll try to do it as fast as possible just to make the, the episode a little bit more chewable, right? And when I say chewable, what, I'm, what I mean is it's a little bit easier to digest as a viewer. It's not this gigantic 40 minute thing. I'm working on trying to get it to where you guys can enjoy the content, but I want you guys to stay around for the whole episode. I don't want you guys to miss anything. And so, you know, you guys might be like, hey, you had a Charmander, now you have a Charizard? Like, so just try to keep up. If you guys haven't, please go uh, watch the uh, new channel trailer. The new channel trailer is a short video I put out. It's three minutes, but it's a professional, Game Freak Japanese snapshot of their Game Freak website that says Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There is a Violet trainer using a Hisuian Zoroark. So that's right. Hisuian forms are confirmed for Scarlet and Violet. Now I don't know which one's going to be in which game. Or they might have like Zoroark and Violet and Ursaluna in Scarlet, right? But uh, that just goes to show that they are using it. Because this trainer is actually in battle. So if you guys watch to the end of that video... Give it a like, give it a subscribe, share with a friend, and we're gonna stomp out this gym battle real quick. But no, there's a lot of stuff that I'm working on behind the scenes, guys. Um, I'm working on some Far Cry 6 content. Um, Far Cry 5 content, because I love that game. So I am doing a lot, and I know sometimes the videos, they'll come through and you, know, you might be waiting for the next one. I don't know, but if you guys are waiting for the next one, please let me know in the comments below because I'll try to get it done faster. The hardest part is when you're you're a soon-to-be dad and um, you're also working a nine-to-five job. I would love to do this full-time. Right now I'm doing a nine-to-five job. So what I would like from you guys, if you really do want to see content rolling out support the channel man check me out on patreon i got some exclusive stuff going for the people that subscribe to me on patreon some really fun commentary some really explosive comedy um it's, it has nothing to do with pokemon it's a stand-up comedy podcast called barking irons comedy um it's something that i started because i have a passion for it but also, I've seen a lot, and I some of the things I've heard 
would make anyone curl their eyebrows, you know what I mean? So, if you guys are interested, sign up for that Patreon so you guys can get exclusive ag uh, membership. And then once you get exclusive membership, that podcast will only be for Patreon members. It's kind of my way of getting people, like, having something to offer you guys that maybe will make you feel better throughout your day. Because the best medicine is laughter, right? So... We are stomping through this though, man. The, the one thing I hate about this is they throw out their Pokemon like they're gonna beat you. That's the funny thing, like they're gonna beat you. I might have over leveled my Pokemon just a little bit. That's my bad. I thought they were gonna be level 30s. I know he's got an Arcanine that's like level 30. The gym leader, you know, so. That I was trying to aim for, but I guess I overpowered the guy. But yeah, but it's an exciting time, man. Uh, a drive. So he, uh, there's a couple channels I'm promoting down below. If you go to my homepage, you'll see these channels being promoted. I, I'm promoting a drive. I'm promoting Abdallah Smash because I really enjoy Abdallah Smash's content. Some of the video games I don't really care for. But I go there to see him, so that's that's really what matters. I'd love to do a collaboration with you, Bella. Um, but the biggest thing that I want to get from that is if you guys haven't, go like and subscribe to their channels as well. A Drive is uh, gonna be having a baby like tomorrow or something, so uh, his baby son's coming into the world, and then my baby girl's coming in October. So I'm really excited for him, and I'm excited for myself. Um, so just let me know what you guys are seeing. But yeah, and 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 the, the biggest. So I don't want to pin myself to a wall and just say I'm strictly Nintendo. Mainly because I'm a gamer of everything. I have PlayStation. I have Nintendo. I have Xbox. Um, here's a little little info on my username. Drake shot. Drake is another word for dragon. And uh, I'm a Monster Hunter guy. And Monster Hunter Sunbreak just came out. So I'm working on getting more content to you guys than you'll ever know to expect. You know what it is? I'm not catching these guys, man. I'm just stomping them out. And it's not working. But yeah, so I've been playing Far Cry 6 in my downtime when I just need to like unwind. That game is so beautiful. Um, I have it on Series X, I don't have it on the PC. But the Series X runs it like perfectly. And it's such a beautiful game. It's in like Cuba, like, but it's called Yara, which is like a, uh, a tyrannical government socialistic government that's just taking over the people and enslaving them. Um, but it's a really fun game to dive into. It's beautiful. It's fun when you encounter the wildlife like a mountain lion or, or not a mountain lion, a puma or a jaguar. When you run into one of those, it's kind of scary. And I like the I like that feeling of like being scared sometimes. Like Pokemon is amazing, but it's not. It's not Jaguar scary. It's um, it's just one of those games that you can play and get your mind off of something, you know. But sometimes I like a good old fashioned shoot 'em up game. Uh, I grew up on Halo, you know. And then I uh, uh, Call of Duty a little bit, but I got tired of seeing every single Call of Duty being released. No offense if you're a Call of Duty fan, but <clears throat> it's just. It's kind of like the Transformer movies, like they keep making more and it never gets better, it only gets worse. Like, Black Ops 2 was their best, that's the last one I played. Um, I love this battle, guys, I love this battle. This is the first Gigantamax. <laughs> Let's start with a bulk up. I know he can survive a hit.
I love the music soundtrack, man. You know that guy was just... When he was mixing this for the Pokemon Company, he was just like, getting down, right? You're gonna regret this, bro, but we're gonna start with a Drain Punch. Line it up. Take him down. Okay, a bulk up Drain Punch? Come on. I really need to evolve this guy, because he is not doing the damage we need him to be doing. One more bulk up. That's just enough to lay into him, man, with a really nice haymaker in this next drain punch. It's gonna be a freaking Mayweather hayma haymaker, man. It's just gonna come out of left field. Alright, my turn. Dude, this Ninetales is strong, man. What is this, a 6 IV Ninetales? <laughs> he survived two bulk up drain punch. That's nuts. And my guy's five levels higher than him. Let's start with another bulk up. He's probably gonna heal anyways, right? Whoa, he killed him, man. Uh, see, so my webcam is actually covering my health, so I did not see that coming at all. Dang, I should have leveled up him more because he got wrecked. It's okay. You're going to regret this, dude. Bye, Felicia. Man, pour me in food, dude. Thank God this isn't a Nuzlocke. You'd be dead. See, and this is why I kind of don't do Nuzlocke. It's because, like, as soon as this happens, you lose your good Pokemon, right? I've never been a fan. Like, I love the difficulty of a Nuzlocke, but I hate that you have to KO. Him. Like, so I like to customize my Nuzlocke. It's kind of like A-Drive does. If you ever watch A-Drive, he does the same thing. He'll just, like, decide what he wants to do with his Nuzlocke, which I really respect that, because it's hard, man. Like, especially if you, like, <laughs> chain to A, like, you're sitting there breeding for, like, hours for this Pokemon, and then you're just going to KO him the next time. doesn't matter. One more dive, Arcanine's done. I thought his Arcanine was gonna be stronger, but that Ninetales was a beast, man. Just a combination of Will-O-Wisp and Ember. Why does he like point up like he's Michael Jackson? Alright guys, here's the climax of the battle, right here. No, we don't need photosynthesis. Alright, here's the climactic scene, right here guys. I mean, it's a fire against a fire, Gigantamax. I love Charizard's coloration though, black and red, gorgeous. I love Scorch as a Pokemon though. He's such a cool Pokemon, those fire lashes coming out. We're gonna hit him with Dragon Moves and see what that does. I don't know if it's gonna do a lot. I don't really have a good move set on Charizard. It's like I have two fire moves. But here we go, baby. Wait till I'm facing Leon with this guy, dude. Uh, I love this G-Max. This Gigantamax is just as good, though. It turns into a full dragon centipede. Really cool. Yeah. 
I did half damage. That's not bad, considering. Attack fell. She needs a bug move. I'm just gonna keep hitting him. I should have taught him a stun move. That's what I should have done. But it was like, I raised him up, and I just had these moves to speed through the storyline. Like, Heat Wave, you only really use it if you're in a dual battle with Hop, and he's just sitting there using Defense Curl. So you want to get through it as fast as possible, you just spam Heat Wave, because you're going to kill both of Pokemon, right? My turn. Charizard wins, baby. Oh, he's gonna win. One, he's ten levels higher than this guy, man. But it was a good battle. That sense is far too strong. Three max one wins. Black and red Charizard for the win, man. Let's go, guys. So if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. As um, soon as we get done chit-chatting with Kabu here, we're going to end off the episode here so that the episodes are easier for you guys to watch. Um, but please go go check out my popular videos. Go check out those other channels I'm promoting. Shout out to A-Drive. Shout out to Dollar Smash for you know being awesome content creators. And also, congratulations A-Drive for having your baby boy. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.